This is a conversation between the first physicist who made the explicit link between quantum mechanics and consciousness, Sir Roger Penrose, and the inventor of the microprocessor, Federico Fagin, who is also a physicist and has just written a book about his own quantum theory of consciousness. Why should consciousness even exist if it has no causal power? That, that's my, my question. I would agree that clearly it does exist, and I think I agree with you there. The fact that it can have a causal effect is the only reason why beings have evolved with it. Roger Penrose and Federico Fagin agree on one important point when it comes to consciousness. It cannot be computed. A computer, in the sense that we mean it, which is a computational system, will not ever be intelligent. Understanding, intelligence, consciousness are words that are often used interchangeably by Roger Penrose. And according to him, they involve quantum mechanics. For more than two decades, he's been working on a theory about quantum effects in microtubuli in the human brain that recently seemed to be substantiated by empirical findings. Now, Federico Fascin, in a sense, builds on Penrose's ideas, but not in the way you would think. According to Fagin, consciousness is not caused by wave function collapse, it's more fundamental. 